watching part two of my benchmark review. It's a battle, the HD 7870 versus the 660 Ti from Nvidia. We're doing benchmarks today. In part one, we did the specs. We looked at the cards. They're both beautiful, but hey, one of them has got to do better than the other. In this beast, we're talking about an Intel Core i7 running at 4.8 gigahertz. I reviewed this machine separately in another video. If you're interested, I'll add the link below so you can click on that. Basically, this is a super fast machine, 16 gigs of memory. You know, it's got SSD drive, virtually no lag. The thing boots up and runs so smooth. Here we are in Windows 7 64-bit with GPU-Z, looking at the 660 Ti from Gigabyte. We're looking at the specs. You can see there the driver versions. You can see the specs. It's a 192-bit bus width card, like I mentioned. Two gigs of memory on this one, just like the uh, AMD card, which we'll look in a second. And you can see that this one has a standard GPU clock and a boost. So from the factory, it comes already pre-overclocked and ready to go. Hope to get some great performance out of this card, right? Now, looking at the AMD card, again, it is also using the 28 nanometer architecture. It is the Picarin, um GPU core. It is a 256-bit bus width card, so it's a little bit faster there on the bus and the bandwidth, the amount of data, but it still has two gigs of um, memory there on that one, and it comes overclocked on the core a little bit higher, but on the memory, it's not as high as the NVIDIA. So there's a give and take, you know, for both. Let's look at some benchmarks, starting with 3D Mark. Okay, 3D Mark is the latest that I got this year, and we're doing some benchmarks on this one. The NVIDIA card actually got 5,037 on the Fire Strike High Performance PC uh, benchmark, which is very good, and also um, very close to the uh, 7870, but not close enough. So the 7870 got a little bit higher scores, as you can see here, overall 5383. Okay, so those are the first benchmarks. Second benchmarks with 3D Mark 11, which has been out for quite some time on the Extreme Preset benchmark, the NVIDIA card. 2773, which is a great score. And then the NVIDIA card again on the performance benchmark, 8548. So both scores are very nice again on this Intel Core i7 machine. Now slap in the 7870 and the scores were actually lower. Not by much, but still, nevertheless, they were lower. Now, the Haven benchmark 4.0, which just came out, check out those scores on two different resolutions and settings. Now we're going to the AMD card, and here are the scores. They're actually a little bit higher than the NVIDIA card, so one point there now for the AMD card. Now, I am a little bit disappointed, I gotta say, on the Cinebench rendering, the GTX 660 Ti let me down there. I don't know what happened. It um, basically gave me only 65 um, frames per second there on the rendering, as opposed to the AMD card, which gave me 108. So uh, it just blew it out of the water on this test. Now on game benchmarks now, Crisis 3, latest and greatest. You can see here that the GTX did very well on the um, 1080p results, everything full blown, uh, 8AA. Okay, so very well, very nicely done there on the maximum frames per second on those two different resolutions. Okay, not bad at all. I have nothing to complain about there, but now we're gonna look at the AMD side. And you can see there, they're very close, very similar. Um, the AMD card does a little bit less on the Ifinity setting, but overall on the 1080p, it was a little bit faster on the maximum frames per second. But very, very close call there, very close call. Now, let's look at another game. I've got here some settings that I've gone through with Medal of Honor, okay, Warfighter, as you can see here, 1080p, custom settings, everything on high, 4AA, as you can see there, HBAO, and here are the comparisons for both. As you can see, the AMD card, the 7870, did better with those same display settings on this exact same machine, okay? So I can't argue anything there. The 7870 was indeed smoother on the rendering. Can you tell? Maybe not. But then again, facts are the facts. Another game here. Dirt Showdown, awesome game if you're running it on triple three uh, monitors, but I'm gonna test this on two resolutions. First, the 1080p. Here are the results for the um, GTX 660 on both resolutions. You can see here that on Infinity, I mean, it looks beautiful, this game. 
playing it on widescreen with uh, with triple monitors. But the bottom line is, which one did better on the triple display? Well, I gotta be honest, the AMD card did, as you can see right there from the test results. So, uh, again, Far Cry 3, we're looking at two uh, different cards running the same settings, and as you can see there, it's almost identical. So this was a really close match there, very hard to call uh, when it comes to the average, it was identical, so I would give this almost a tie basically on, on Far Cry 3. So we can't really say anything about that, but again, really nice um, frames per second. Tomb Raider, here we go, brand new game. Again, here are the benchmarks using the pre-built Lara Croft, looking great as usual, and there she goes, giving us nice, smooth frames per second. Now, what did we get? Well, looking here at the GTX 660 Ti, you got the 42.1 average frames per second. Boom! On the 7870, I got 78.8 frames per second. I don't know what happened there, but it blew it out of the water. Now, temperature-wise and power-wise, I got to tell you, the GTX 660 Ti, when I plugged it in, ran the Furmark on full load, the GTX uses less power, okay? That's the bottom line. However, it does run a little bit hotter, okay? So I'm not quite sure what's going on with the fans, but other than that, I mean, they're both running at 40% uh, speed. That's about 1200 RPM on the fans, identical when it comes to the speed. And uh, still, the Nvidia ran a little bit hotter overall. So again, if you're wondering about the price, Watch my part one of this benchmark review. You can save about $30, $40 on the 7870 as opposed to 660 Ti for the same manufacturer as I mentioned earlier. Comment below, let me know what you think, and again, thank you for watching.